moving on files in file explorer all right so we've learned how to go through uh, files that are stored in folders within the file explorer window now we're going to look at how we can move them around because from time to time we want to move files from one folder to the next because it helps with organization and so on so uh, first let's open our file explorer window i'm going to use the keystroke windows e file explorer window tree view quick access expanded one of two level zero items view list okay the first folder I'm going to head to is my desktop folder because I want to move a file from that folder to another folder. So first I have to go there, the place where I want something to be moved from. So I'm going to use my shift tab to go to the tree view. Tree view, quick access expanded one of two level zero. I'm going to press D until I hear desktop. D, level one desktop. Pinned, not checked one of eight. Good, it's first. So I'm going to press enter. Then tab now to head back over to the items view list. Items view list. Document two not selected one of two. Good. Now the item, the items view list now displays the contents of the desktop folder. Dropbox um, two of two. And I went, press my down arrow. I'm going to press back the up arrow. Document two one of two. And it says document two. Yes, that is the document that we want to move completely from this folder and send to the documents folder to move it the keystroke you will have to cut it and i'm going to use the keystroke control x i'm going to do that now hold on my control and press x good don't really hear anything depending on the screen reader you might hear you might not hear anything all right the next step is to head to the folder where you want this file to be sent. So I'm going to shift tab to the tree view. Tree view, desktop, pinned, not checked one of eight level one. And it's on desktop where we left it. I'm going to press D until I hear documents because that is where I want to move the file. D, downloads, pinned, not checked two of D eight again. level one. D, documents, pinned, not checked three of eight level one. Good, pressing enter on documents. Then pressing tab to head back to the items view list. Items view list. Custom office templates not selected one of three. Good. The items view list area now displays the contents of documents. Now I'm going to paste because I had cut the file before from doc desktop. Now I'm going to paste it inside here, inside documents. I'm going to use the keystroke control V. Document 2404. Document 2204. There it is, document two, quick and easy. Now, if you were to make a quick look back into the desktop folder, you would realize that document two no longer exists in there. So it only right now exists in the documents folder. However, what if you wanted the document, document two, to be in both places, meaning if you wanted it to remain in the desktop folder, as well as have a copy in the documents folder well for that it's it's very similar to the process that we just did but instead of using Control x which is the keystroke for cut you would use Control c which is the keystroke for copy meaning while you are on the file which you would have found in desktop folder which is where document 2 was before you could have used Control c which would have made a copy of the file and you could have then come here into the documents folder and pasted it in that case the file would have been in two places both here documents folder as well as in the desktop folder okay now let's try out the send to feature so I'm going to head back to the desktop folder because I want to send something from the desktop folder into this documents folder. So I will have to reopen the desktop folder. So where do I find all folders again? Which section of the file explorer window? The tree view. So I'm going to shift tab to tree view. Tree view. Documents pinned. Not check three of eight level one. Good. 
I'm gonna use my Opera this time to find desktop. Downloads, pinned, not checked desktop, pinned, not checked one of eight level one. Pressing enter on desktop. Tab over to the items view list to see the contents of desktop. Items view list, Dropbox not selected one of one. And you realize now it's saying Dropbox one of one. Document two is no longer here because of course we had used Control X and then Control V to cut it from this folder and paste it in the documents folder. So document two is no longer in here. It's only in the documents folder. All right, for Dropbox, this, this file has left here. Let's just use this, okay? Selected. And that down arrow, so it would actually select Dropbox. And it's the only file there. So pressing down arrow, once it, it, the screen reader won't see anything else because there's nothing else in the list for it to go to. All right, you will then have to use your applications key. When you want to use send to, the feature which allows you to just send a file from wherever you are to some specific places, you have to activate the context menu with your applications key. Now, if you're using a standard computer keyboard, standard Windows computer keyboard, the applications key is found to the left of your right control key. So it is found beside the right control key, okay? Uh, that might vary though, as it relates to laptops. Um, for instance, on my laptop, I will have to use my function key along with my right control to get the same function, but that's basically what it is. Or you can use Shift F10 to get the context menu as well. <clears throat> so we're gonna open our context menu. Doing that now. Context menu. It says context menu. Now to go through the items in this context menu, you can use your up and down arrow. I'm going to down arrow until I hear send to. Open all. Send with transfer. Move to Dropbox. Open file location I. Run as administrator A. Troubleshoot compatibility Y. Pin to start P. Scan with Windows Defender. Pin to taskbar K. Restore previous versions V. Send to submenu N. Send to submenu. Submenu means that there's a smaller menu that can come up, that can be opened. So we are going to press the right arrow so it opens on the right there. Bluetooth device B. <clears throat> and the first item in that smaller menu is Bluetooth device, meaning you can send whatever file you're currently on, which we are on Dropbox, you can send it to a Bluetooth uh, device. Let me let us down arrow and see what are the options in this particular list. Compressed, zipped, folder C. You can zip the file. Desktop, create shortcut, D. You can send it to your desktop, creating a shortcut. Documents, D. Documents, folder. Fax recipient, F. Fax. Mail recipient, M. Email. Bluetooth device, B. And we're back up to Bluetooth device. Now we want to send it to our documents folder, right? So we're just going to down arrow until we find documents. Compressed, zipped, desktop, create short documents D. Pressing enter. Desktop window, items view list, Dropbox one of one. Good. So I pressed enter and it closed the context menu. The action has been done, but of course, how would you know, right? With the send to feature, it allows the file to stay exactly where it is right now, which in Dropbox is right here where it is in desktop. But you will also find when you go to the documents, the file has also been sent there. Let us go and look. Gonna shift tab to tree view. Tree view, desktop, pinned, not checked one of eight level one. Gonna down arrow to documents. Downloads, pinned, documents, pinned, Enter. not checked three of eight. Tab to the items view list to see the contents of documents. Items view list. Custom office templates not selected one of five. Good. I'm going to down. All right. Please remember to check out the full lesson for this. Uh, the link for the full lesson is in the description, but you can also just visit the website blindaccessibilitytips.com for of this and other lessons. All right. Please subscribe or leave a like on the video as well to see more of these lessons.